So again, I'm seeing people still jumping in here. Welcome to the social media makeover. I'm so happy you're here. And I just invited everybody to um, click on the little speech bubble that's in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And so um, that's the chat box. And if you just will type hello in there, I just wanna make sure that you know how to use it. This is a live workshop. So I wanna make sure that you feel free to type your questions in there um, as we go so that you can really get the most out of this. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and please do turn off all of your other devices. Um, I just wanna make sure that you get the most out of this webinar so there's no distractions or anything. I'm still seeing people entering in here. So maybe I'll just give another second. Welcome everybody. I'm so excited to get going with this. I really have tried to make this the best, most valuable workshop possible to really boost your social media. And it's all based on my own experience. So I'm really going to just share what I've learned along the way. So again, there's a speech bubble up in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And if you just click on that and type hello, I just want to make sure that you know how to use it because this is a live workshop and I want to make sure that you feel free to ask me any of your questions along the way and I'm going to try to answer them as best I can. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started with this. So we're going to jump in with some statistics. 90% of information transmitted to the brain is visual. And visual content is more than 40 times more likely to get shared on social media than any other type of content. So what does this mean? It means that your imagery matters to the success of your business. Strong imagery really is important for your business success. And I am so happy you're here because that means that you understand the importance of quality visuals and you are ready to step up your game on social media. And that is why you have an advantage over a huge percentage of your competitors because so many people take their branding and their visuals for granted. And the belief that branding is not an important investment for a successful business is a complete myth. Your branding is absolutely crucial to your business success. Okay, so does any of this sound like you? Visuals and social media are not your strong point. You stare at the screen like a zombie every time you go to make a post. You've pulled your hair out trying to find quality photos to post because most stock photos are stale and lifeless. Searching for or creating imagery has become a part-time job. And you feel like you're wasting your time because you're not attracting any paying clients on social media. Maybe most of your followers are your friends and family, and we really want to change that. So don't worry, I've been there. I know where you're coming from and what it's like to have these issues. And we've really shared the same pain and you are in the right spot because this workshop is going to be really helpful for you. So today we're talking about you, you and your brand, you and your visuals and how you can use imagery more effectively on social media to attract your dream clients. So we'll really cover some of what are probably your biggest headaches when it comes to visuals. And um, we'll also talk about how you can create a recognizable brand and establish more brand value so that people are willing to pay more for what you have to offer. And I know that some of you are here because you want to learn about Wellness Stock Shop and some of you are here because you're already members of Wellness Stock Shop. And um, I know that some of you are curious and you want to know more about the photo resource and how you can tap into it to help strengthen your brand and your business. So we'll go over that, but we're going to go over that towards the end. So here's what we're going to specifically cover today. Is social media worth your time? What to post? We're going to do a little exercise to help you discover your brand message. If you're not quite clear on that, this is going to really help you with everything that you do on social media. Three biggest social media mistakes that I see people making all the time that can actually hurt their brand. And how to set your visuals on autopilot. 
I'm also going to tell you about how I completely reinvented my Instagram feed and attracted over 3,000 organic followers in less than two months. And by organic followers, I mean that I didn't pay for them. And you can do this too. So we're going to cover some really essential steps that you can start applying today to help make this happen. And also stick around because at the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a link to download a free social media makeover photo kit to get you started beautifying your social media feed. So definitely stick around for that. It's a good one. Okay, so I'm just going to introduce myself briefly. I'm Brianna. I'm a purpose-driven entrepreneur, a world traveler, mega Portland coffee snob, and a total essential oils nerd. And I'm also an award-winning photographer and definitely, definitely a nature lover. So this is what I was doing last year. I was a portrait photographer winning awards and getting my imagery published by popular national publications and international magazines, but I was completely exhausted trying to run every aspect of my business all by myself and without any meaning or purpose. So one morning last October, it was pretty much exactly a year ago, I woke up and I felt like I had emerged in a vast sea, not knowing where I was or which direction I was headed or even how I got there. And I was completely alone. I had really lost all my friends because I didn't have time for them. I was literally sitting in front of my computer from the moment I woke up in the morning until I went to bed at night, sometimes until 2 a.m., just trying to learn every aspect of running a business and trying to take it all on by myself. And I entirely gave up everything else in my life. And I wonder if you can relate with me on this because, geez, it's really a ton of work to run your own business. And if you're not running it with purpose, if you're taking on every single task and all the things that you don't even want to be doing, it totally burns you out, doesn't it? So even though clearly I was really good at what I was doing, portrait photography, I was absolutely hating my life. And I finally hit a wall and I sat down and I started journaling a lot and reading a lot of books, a lot of self-help books and all those really good things. And I started questioning what I was doing and what I wanted out of life. And I realized that this was just not what I was doing. I just was not in alignment with my purpose. And what I really wanted to be doing was working in the world of natural wellness. So I considered going to um, school to become a health coach at IIN, but I knew that I had a strength in photography. So something didn't quite feel right. So, of course, it looks like PowerPoint quit on me, so I'm just going to have to restart it. So sorry. This keeps happening to me. Um, just bear with me for a second. It's just going to take a second to start it up. Mm. This has to happen in a webinar. It's kind of tradition, so sorry. Um, okay. Okay. Almost there. Okay, so let me jump forward to this. Okay, so fast forward to now. Thanks for <laughs> bearing with me. That keeps happening. I don't know what's going on. Um, I realized that I needed to change to get more in alignment with myself and my purpose and to stop doing everything by myself. And so I completely switched gears this year to focus on using my skills to support a community and a purpose that I deeply believe in, which is natural wellness, the natural wellness industry, by offering what I'm really good at and what I found there was actually a huge need for. So I found that there really weren't any really beautiful um, resources for professional photography specific to the wellness industry. So this year I created an accessible photo source for wellness entrepreneurs, which is the wellness stock shop, which you may already know about or even be a member of. I see some of my members in here today, which is really awesome. And um, we'll talk more about this later so that you can learn how this photo source can really help to support you and your business and how it can make strengthening your social media presence a complete breeze. Um, but we're going to talk about that later. And um, this is where I'm at now today. 
and what why I'm actually here today because I want to share what I'm good at and what I've really learned with the community that I believe in to help support you so that you don't have to do everything all on your own because I found out that if you do that, you really burn out. So I want to know, what are your biggest struggles with social media? Do you see that little chat box? Um, I Some of you have already said hello. Hello, Hannah. I see you in there. If you could just type in there, I really want to know what are your biggest struggles with social media? What are your biggest frustrations? Why are you here? Go ahead and chat in there. I want to make sure that I can help you the best I can. Okay, so finding good photos is, a, yeah, that's a big struggle. Um, finding organic followers who will become customers. Hannah, that's a really great one. Yes, that is the point of social media. You really want to connect with the people who are basically your tribe, who you have something in common with and to build trust and credibility. And we're going to go over all of this because we really want them to click back to your site and eventually become paying clients, right? So that's the whole point of social media. That's a great one. And um, strug more struggles. Most of your followers are other essential oils advocates. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay, so this is really great. And um, we're going to talk about all of that. We're going to talk about um, finding imagery to post that is you don't have to just stare at the screen wondering what to post because you don't know what to post and also the cost of finding visuals we're going to talk about that too this is great okay so let's go ahead and move forward is social media worth your time yes it is but only if you use it well Social media users have risen by 176 million in the last year, and 1 million new active mobile social users are added every single day. That's 12 each second. So take a look at this. Facebook has 1.71 billion users. Instagram has 400 million users, and Pinterest has 1 million, 100 million users. That's huge. That's something we want to pay attention to, especially as an entrepreneur. Social media is viewed as the second most effective digital marketing tactic for customer retention purposes behind only email. Again, this is definitely something we want to pay attention to and tap into. So the top three goals for SMB social media marketing programs are number one, brand awareness. So really we want with social media to get our brand out there and get it to be seen in a really good light. We also want to get traffic to our website and lead generation. So this basically means that we want to use social media as a tool to attract your dream clients. And that is what social media is all about. It's not just about posting pictures and hoping people will like them. It's about attracting your dream clients and bringing in more business. So that's what I really want to help you with today. So how do we accomplish this? Through imagery. And that's what we're especially focusing on today because that's what I'm an expert with. And that's how I have strengthened my social media. So the secret to attracting your dream clients, create a recognizable brand, establish emotional connection, earn trust, and establish brand value. So your goals for social media. We really need to get clear on this because you really want to know what is your purpose on social media and so that we can really go along and make sure that we're serving that purpose. So we want definitely to get people to follow you, build trust and credibility, get them to click back to your site or opt-in page. And this is something that I see a lot is um, people using social media just to post random photos and they're not actually using it as a tool. So... In order to achieve our goals of attracting followers, we really need to know what to post and to start. 
I really want to make sure that you can actually see and understand the importance of and impact of strong branding visuals. You really need to be able to decipher and understand the difference between visuals that will actually attract people and create an emotional connection versus photos that are just posted but don't actually have a positive effect. So this is all very important in order for you to understand social media and how to be successful on social media. So I want to just show you these websites side by side, and I want you to take a moment to observe your reaction to each of these. Take a look at the one on the left and imagine you're looking to hire a health coach what is your immediate reaction to this website? What do you gather about their business? Does this business feel warm? Does it feel professional, inviting? Would you consider hiring this person? And would you expect to receive a totally professional service? Just go ahead and share a few reflections in the chat box. So what does this make you feel when you visit the website? Not a super positive reaction that I'm seeing. So maybe you can't really put your finger on it, but it doesn't really feel truly professional. And if you look at the imagery, it doesn't really look like it goes together. It looks like the banner image is a snapshot maybe, and the other images may have been pieced together from different stock photo sites. And if you did hire this person, would you expect to invest a lot of money in their service? Probably not, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the website on the right. Does this website, how does it make you feel? Is this website warm? Is it professional? Is it inviting? It is, right? So this person really looks like she has her stuff together and she looks very professional. So which business would you invest more money in? If you did hire them, whose service would you expect or be willing to invest more in? I think we're probably all in agreement that we would expect to invest more on the person in the business on the right. And there's a reason for that. It's all about how visuals make your customers feel or your clients feel when they visit your page. This is such a good reflection. This goes for social media too, anywhere where you're representing your business. This is a really great example of how different visuals can really elicit a different response from your viewers. And you might actually see here that there's a, a common image in both of these websites, this jumping image. And that's because because this is actually someone who hired me. She took on her website um, on her own. This is the same business. And she tried to put all the visuals together by herself. And that's the one on the left. And she's just not a visual person. She doesn't specialize in branding or photography. So that was her best attempt. And that's what it turned out like. But it was really not reflecting the quality of her services and how she's an amazing health coach. She really does an amazing program that's very valuable. But the visuals didn't reflect that. And so it was just sending the wrong message to her potential clients. Whereas on the right, this is after I actually redid her website and I applied a professional finish to that photo and I made it so that it was the same finish as all the rest of the imagery. So it would really fit together. These are all images from Wellness Stock Shop. So it all has a cohesive look and it looks very professional and luring. So now it's so much more reflects the value of her services. So that's just to show you a really good example. It's the same on social media. So really think about what you're posting and who you're attracting. People judge the quality of your product and service by your branding visuals. Every image you post is relaying a message. What do you want that message to be? I really want you to keep that in your head throughout this whole training. It's really up to you to relay your value and the quality of your service. You have to give people a reason to follow you and trust you. So if you're not attracting followers and the followers especially that you really want, chances are you're sending the wrong message. So... I invite you to take a look at your feed later today and really be honest. What are the images that you're currently using relaying about your business? 
Are they relaying the level of quality you offer? Are they relaying to your audience that you're a professional, you know what you're doing, and that they can trust you? And are they relaying the value of your product or service? With social media, you're really sending messages to your viewers all the time. And if you're just posting miscellaneous stuff and not really worrying about the quality of what you're posting, then you're sending the wrong message and you could actually be hurting your brand. So if you're doing that, then social media is not worth your time. And I want to help you fix that. So if your goal is to attract potential clients, you have to give them a reason to follow you. So sharing inspiration, recipes, and healthy living tips is really wonderful. But before they look at any of your text, they're going to look at your photos first. And in fact, if they won't even pay attention at all to your text if they aren't attracted to your photos. So with thousands of photos bombarding them every minute, yours has to be worthy of their attention and it has to catch them first, draw them in and make them want to read what you have to share and interact with your business. So let's talk about what to post. We're going to go into that. So first, I love this quote by Caitlin Lay. I want my audience to get their attention caught by an image that speaks to them first and then go on to read more in my social media posts, blog, and website. I'm a busy mom and I don't have time to read through long posts or wordy websites and emails. And I think my audience feels the same and would like to get the message first through the imagery. And she totally gets it. She totally understands the importance of imagery to draw people in. And so that's just exactly the message I'm trying to relay. So in order to get people to follow you long term, you need to build a clear voice and a story, a timeline that engages them and inspires them and that highlights what you have in common, like I mentioned earlier, so that they can kind of create an emotional connection based on trust. So it's not just about one individual post. It's about your entire feed, your brand story. So let's talk about four key elements that must be in place in order to create a follow worthy social media feed. Your photos must be alluring. They must be cohesive or streamlined. They've got to have a really similar common look. They've got to be good quality and professional, and they've got to tell a story. So let's get more specific with images that lure and attract attention and intrigue your viewers. So here are three of the top images that will really grab people's attention. Human elements is number one. People are drawn to people, especially eyes and hands. So if you can find imagery that have human elements in them, think about the images that you've seen that have hands that are eating food or like this one holding that teacup. Doesn't that draw you in? It just kind of makes you feel like, oh, maybe those are your hands and you're in that image. It's very, it just catches people's eyes. So number two is suggestive storytelling visuals. Again, you want to really draw them in and you want to create their dream scenario. People love just kind of living vicariously through your photos. That's why they love travel photos and stuff like that. Just like it's like reading a book. It's like imagining yourself in this new different world. So really help them to imagine being there in the image. And if you look at this image here with the warm teacup. It looks like it's on a bed. It looks like someone's been sitting there. The sheets are kind of messy and it looks super cozy. And maybe you've got your favorite essential oil bottle. Maybe the room smells like eucalyptus and you've got this open journal just waiting for your thoughts and your journaling to be just coming out. It just feels like a really warm, cozy morning, doesn't it? It draws you into the scene. So those are definitely images that will help you to really attract people to your social media feed. And number three is drool worthy food photos. So this is kind of a tricky one. People love food photos. I'm sure you've heard that before, but Food photos are especially tricky because people are particularly picky about food. They need to know that they can trust it. So the photos that you post of food have to be bright. They have to look crisp, fresh, and safe. 
just like food in real life. It, if it looked mushy, you wouldn't really want to eat it. And so we're going to go over a quick food photo critique in a bit to help you spot what not to post because I know I have a lot of health coaches and others trying to inspire healthy lifestyle and eating. And um, I really want to make sure that you're not posting something that's actually turning people off. And these, what we talk about can be really applied to any photos, but food photos are particularly tricky. So that leads us to the three biggest social media mistakes. Number one is assuming the quality of your imagery doesn't matter. So remember, our goal with social media is to create a recognizable brand, establish brand value, and attract your dream clients. And the way you do this is really truly through quality visuals. You've got to attract them with the imagery first, as we talked about. So experts say quality posts and imagery is essential to growing your brand. And in fact, Instagram expert Deshay Peacock, who is amazing, by the way, and if you don't follow her, I highly recommend you do it. She is an Instagram guru. And she also, if you go to her, her Instagram feed, she's got her 10 best tips to grow your brand on Instagram, which you will love. She's awesome. And she stresses that the quality and cohesiveness of your images is one of the most important things to get in place first before you can begin using any other tactics to grow your brand on Instagram. So before you can start attracting anyone, you've got to get your visuals cohesive and beautiful. Okay, so I told you that we're going to do a little photo critique. And like I said, I'm doing this with food because this is the one that is the most tricky, and I see a lot of people making mistakes with their food. It's the easiest way to turn people away and get the opposite response from what you actually want to get from your viewers. Um, so um, I want to just point out here some things that are kind of mistakes made in the photos, and they really can be applied to just about any photos, not food. So as a disclaimer, I did not take these photos. They were all gathered from Instagram, and these were all taken from health enthusiasts or wellness entrepreneurs who are trying to inspire healthy lifestyle. And these people obviously posted them thinking that these food photos look good, but in the deeper analysis of it, they're actually posting things that are hurting them. So people are super sensitive and picky about food as I talked about. And so if you have a feed that's really heavily focused on food, it's especially essential that you get really high quality photos. And people just really don't want to eat what they don't trust. So unless your images are crisp and clear and beautiful, you might actually be soliciting the opposite reaction from what you want. So um, I just want to go through here and point out a few things that I notice in these photos to help you start kind of building an eye for this to make sure that you're not making the same food photo mistakes or any mistakes in your photography. So if we look at this salad over here, it looks like it would be a crisp green salad, but all of this white stuff on the top is just kind of blurry and really whited out and you can't really tell what is going on here. And then up here in this, it looks like maybe a smoothie bowl, but it kind of looks like a swamp monster too. <laughs> so this is really kind of a yellowy, orangey look, and it's got these harsh shadows. So you want to make sure, again, that your images are crisp and clear and the colors turning out well to make sure that it doesn't turn out into the swamp monster. And over here, this piece of pie, there's all these dark shadows and there's this kind of orange glare even on the kiwi. So this looks like it was taken maybe in a kitchen with an overhead light. And that casts this orange look on your food and any sort of image. And I really today want to make sure um, to relate to you as a photographer some lighting tips because it's really important that you are not using overhead lighting, which gives this orange effect, or flash photography. Your camera flash is probably one of the worst things that you can possibly use. And here's another example of that in this smoothie shot. You see this really harsh shadow? That's because there's a flash and there's this glare on this smoothie. 
So it just doesn't turn out to be really soft or flattering lighting, and you just don't get the detail and the color of the food. So it just kind of destroys the photos. Over here with these smoothies, you see that it's partially consumed and people really want to see abundance. They want to see it full and imagine that they're going to take the first sip of it. And so make sure that if you're posting food or anything like that, your bowl or your cup is totally full and that it doesn't have chunks on the side of the glass because this kind of makes me just want to do my dishes. <laughs> and this one right here with the cashews, this one's really important. Uh, because this with food, again, you want it to be really crisp. And if it's out of focus like this, this is so blurry. It makes the food look really mushy, doesn't it? And the last thing people think is appetizing is mushy food. So make sure that all your photos, no matter what, if it's food or anything, is really crisp and clear because that's also the importance of showing that it's a quality photo. And if you are here and you're already a member of Wellness Stock Shop, I want you to know that a lot of people are having problems. I don't know if you've experienced this, but you're posting a photo on Instagram and the photo looks crisp and clear until you post it on Instagram or Facebook and then it looks kind of blurry or fuzzy. Are you experiencing that? Are any of you experiencing that? I hear that a lot from people. Yeah. So some of you are experiencing that. So the issue is if you actually, well, first you have to get it crisp in camera. But the other issue is that Facebook and Instagram are really strange and they require a larger size now. They've changed their sizing requirements multiple times. They now require a larger size and then they resize it. They kind of compress it into a smaller image. It's weird. Don't ask me why. But you want to make sure that you're using a large size file in order to maintain the crispness. So if you're a member of Wellness Stock Shop or you've purchased images a la carte, you know that there are different Im image sizes that you can purchase. They're pre-sized. And the smallest one was labeled as social media size because in the past, Instagram required a smaller size, around 800 so now that size is not good enough for Instagram. They switched it this year and they now require 1080, so 1080 resolution. So now you're going to want to go with the medium size files. And if you have a membership, it's included in the price. It doesn't really matter what size you grab. Make sure you're grabbing larger size files or if you're posting photos of your own, make sure that they're sized at least 1080 or for Facebook 1200 resolution to get the crispest, clearest look. So I hope that helps you out with that. So moving on to these berries, berries should be really fresh looking and juicy and inviting. And here, this is really a dark room and they're obviously using the yellow overhead light again because everything's kind of warm and yellow. So if you're having troubles with your photos turning out really yellow or warm looking, it's probably an issue with your lighting. So make sure you're not using overhead lighting in your kitchen or lamp lighting, make sure you're not using your on-camera flash. Instead, I highly recommend just using natural light and not direct sunlight, but window light. So if you have a nice window in your house, make sure you're taking all of your photos in the window. It's soft and forgiving and it's free. So there are some tips. I hope that you're starting to recognize some of the mistakes I'm seeing people make, and that will hopefully help you with the, your posts as well. So I also did this other exercise. So my cousin is a health coach and she takes her own photos for her blog and you might do the same. So I wanted to do this exercise so that we could kind of see how the difference turns out if you're actually kind of creating more of a story and putting more effort into your photos or using professional photos versus just a snapshot. So these images on the top are hers. So imagine if these were posted on an Instagram feed, would you be inspired to follow this? And that's really why people follow you is because they're inspired by your photos. And so if you're just posting snapshots like these and you're not getting the photo, the followers that you want, chances are you're just not inspiring your viewers. So here's something that you can do. And again, you can start to recognize 
how orange this looks and it's kind of out of focus and clumpy. You can't really tell what it is. Here you see the big shadow. Do you remember what causes that? It's the on-camera flash that causes that. And you don't really see much definition in this black rice. And here with the salsa, it's really vibrant red, which is fantastic, but it's really blurry. And it's not really an inspiring scene. So this doesn't really make me want to run and get the recipe. Now look at the bottom. These are the same food dishes. We were allowed to use the same we took the same food, we're allowed to photograph it anywhere in her house with any dishes and using any props. So this is her best effort on the top and here's mine on the bottom. So if you see, it's actually displayed out on the eggs and you've got some fresh spinach and such. This is really beautiful and this again can go for any photos, not just food photos. So I have some essential oils advocates in here I see. So if you're taking your own photos of essential oils, again, make sure that they're in focus and rather than just taking a picture of the bottle, try adding something in to make it more embellished and make it more professional and luring. Bring a hand into the scene like this salsa. Look at how this just tells a story and draws you in. This is why people follow your Instagram feed. So these are all photos in Wellness Stock Shop as well. They're already pre-made. If you need photos, you can always jump in there and grab some. But it also tells you what you should be looking for in photos to help inspire your viewers. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in to an action step. So if you take a look at your social media feed, I encourage you to do that today after we're done. Are you making any of the mistakes that we looked at? Um, are you taking your own photos and using the overhead lighting or on camera flash? What can you actually change to make a difference? What could you actually post to help create a story and draw people in? Are your photos follow worthy? Really be honest with yourself. And let's jump into the three biggest social media mistakes. And here's number two not creating a cohesive look or voice. So creating a cohesive brand look or message is really truly important in order to relay to your viewers what you're about and to allow them to decide if they have something in common with you, if they're part of your tribe, and that will help them to decide if they actually wanna follow you. And so lacking a cohesive message can really confuse your viewers and it can really damage your potential relationship. Discover your brand message. Have you discovered your brand message? Are you clear on this? So maybe you're struggling with creating a cohesive look to your social media feed because you're not actually quite clear on your branding message. And you're not alone on this. This is why so many brands suffer and result in kind of a piece together look that really confuses their viewers and makes their brand appear unprofessional. So today I really wanna help you get a bit more clear on your branding message. And I have a really quick exercise that we'll do right here, right now. And you can dive into it deeper um, a little bit later on your own afterwards. But this exercise will really help you get more clear on your message and will help you to start creating a more cohesive look for your social media feed and all of your branding. So are you ready? Let's dive in. What do you want your visitors to feel when they interact with your brand? Just take a moment to think about this and type a few descriptive words in the chat box. I want to know what do you want your visitors to feel when they visit your page, your website, or your Instagram feed, or when they just interact with your brand at any time. Some examples could be confident, soothed, rejuvenated, hopeful, nourished, sassy. Just close your eyes for a few seconds and really think about your motive and your purpose and your target client. What do you want to relay to them and how do you want your brand to make them feel? This is a huge part of being able to attract people is being clear with what your message is. So branding really, really comes down to a feeling and creating a feeling for your viewers or an emotional connection. So it's just 
so important you get clear on this because your branding message will really help you to guide you with everything that you post on social media and it'll make posting easier for you. It'll actually really strengthen your feed. So um, some of you are saying fresh, hopeful, inspired, abundant, at home. These are beautiful descriptive words. Yes. So once you nail this, you'll be much more clear with everything you post and everything you do to connect with your audience because everything will be in alignment with this. So keep these words in mind every single time you post. I used to suffer from this because I love so many things. I love bright, bold colors and modern designs and soft, natural colors and ethnic patterns and organic designs. So I had a really hard time deciding um, what to post and deciding what I shouldn't post because it's just not relevant to my brand. So once I really got clear and developed my branding, what I call tone words or mood words, which we just went over in that exercise, it really helped me to get clear with my message. It's my tone words or mood words are soulful, organic, fresh and romantic. And so every single thing I post, I keep that in mind and it guides me with everything I post. So I don't post things with really bright, bold colors, like with reds and golds and stuff like that. I make sure that it's really soft, organic, natural look. And you can see that in my feed. So here's an action step for you. Go ahead and come up with those words. Come up with four of them that really create the mood or the feeling for your brand. Write them down. Keep them in a spot that you can refer to all the time and make sure that every single photo you post fits at least two of those words. If you do this, you will really start to see your branding message coming through. It'll be such a cohesive look and it'll really strengthen your feed because everything will be very cohesive and people will understand what you're about and what your message is. So biggest social media mistake number three is not posting regularly. So the three characteristics of brand social media posting that are most important to consumers in order, this is a, um, a statistic from Social Times. Number one, the brand shares new content. So this is really super important. You have to be sharing new content all the time. Number two, the content is relevant to the brand. Again, you gotta make sure that you're clear on your message and make sure you're consistent with your posts all the time. And number three, the brand engages with its followers. Make sure that you're commenting back. So experts recommend posting one to three times every day. So I told you earlier that I would tell you about how I gained over 3,000 followers in less than two months. And this is my feed. This is where I'm at today. And I started getting serious on Instagram. I decided I needed to start really using it as um, a tool for my business. I started on August 31st of this year and I started tracking my results. And I started with 391 followers. I'm not kidding. On August 31st of this year, I had 391 followers. And I don't know if you're like me, but I just kind of hit a plateau. I could not even break 400. I was in the 300s for months and months and I wasn't doing anything serious or looking into it or trying to figure it out. I just, it wasn't happening. So I want to tell you about the five main things that I did that really helped me out and really got me to where I am today so that hopefully this will help you too. So the five main things that I did to grow my brand on Instagram. Number one, I decided to focus on my message and how I want people to feel when they visit my feed, which is what we were talking about before with the exercise we did. And as I told you before, my number one message is soulful. And I really want to share soulful living and business tips and inspiration. And so everything that I post has that in mind. And you can see that in my feed. Does this feel soulful? My words are soulful, organic, 
fresh and romantic. So everything that I post has at least, it fits at least two of those words and look at how streamlined and cohesive it is. So number two, I got consistent and I started posting every single day. I listened to the experts and I took it seriously and I really started posting. So number three, I use hashtags. And people often take these for granted or they don't really understand that you need to use hashtags that your ideal client is actually searching for. So I don't know, are, do you have issues with hashtags? Are you kind of confused as to what that's all about? Because I hear that a lot. So hashtags are not really just to make some sassy comment or just to say, like if I was um, posting this picture, hashtag T. Well, not my <laughs> my target audience is not necessarily looking for tea, but they are looking for um, soulful living and um, essential oils photos and, you know, um, cooking with essential oils or, you know, you just really have to think, get creative and think about who is your target client and what are they searching for? So if you are an essential oils advocate and people who are your target client might be people who are looking for non-toxic living tips or non-toxic house cleaning or um, essential oils recipes, really come up with a bunch of hashtags that they might be searching for and test them out and use them regularly. And you will see that it really makes a difference. And it's really, you might think, well, do I even need to use hashtags? It's super essential that you use hashtags because how Instagram works is if you post a photo, Instagram doesn't really know what that photo is about. The way they find out is by your hashtag. So if you post a hashtag and you use um, healthy recipe or easy healthy recipe, maybe that's what your, your target client is looking for, then Instagram understands that's what your post is about. And it'll actually post your photo among the other healthy recipes. Does that make sense? I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions on that, remember this is a live workshop and you can post your questions over in the little chat box, which is the little speech bubble if you click on that. So make sure you're taking advantage of hashtags. Number four, I always have a link to, in my bio that takes people to the page where I want them to take action. So I don't only have a link to my blog or a link to my website. I post in there, do you see up here, I make a clear call to action, access a free manifesting resource here. This is when I was promoting a manifesting resource. And then I put the URL that is specific to go to that manifesting resource. I've also done um, a free social media um, essential oil photo kit. So I would post up here, um, get a free sampling of essential oils photos here. And then I would put that URL. Does that make sense? So use this. This is a tool. Social media is a tool to get people back to your site, back to your opt-in, back into your program, wherever you want them to go. Make sure you're sending them there and using a call to action. I have gotten so many people to click back to my site, sign up for my email opt-in, and become paying members because of this, because I'm using it as a tool. So make sure you're doing that. Um, the link, is that a paid option? Nikki asks. So the link in your bio is not a paid option. You can post any link that you want in your bio. Does that, um, answer your question? So Instagram is a little bit tricky because you can't in your, um, description of your photo post any active links. But what you can do is in your photo description of that day, say you are um, posting this um, oatmeal, picture of oatmeal and you're a health coach and you want them to click back to your recipe. Well, you in your description would say, oh, I just made this most amazing healthy oatmeal with figs and blah, blah, blah. Um, if you want the recipe, click the link in my bio now. 
then they would know that they can click the link in your bio, make sure that you've got it updated to where you want to send them. And so that it's really sending them to this link to go back to your to your blog. So I hope that helped. Will we be emailed a recording of this webinar? Jess asks, I had trouble logging in. Oh, I'm sorry you had trouble logging in, Jess. Yes, I'm actually totally a newbie at webinars and I'm trying to figure out how I can email this to you. And there is a recording, so I will figure that out and I'll make sure that you get this. And Nikki says, thanks. You are so welcome, Nikki. I hope, yeah, definitely send me any more of your questions. Okay, so number five. I use beautiful, cohesive imagery to share my message and draw people in. And I used all the imagery from my photo source wellness stock shop, which is already cohesive. So it was super easy for me to do. Um, it's all soulful. It has a soulful feel. It's luring. It's already prepared. And it makes posting for me easy every day. And you can tap into that too if you want to, if this is too much for you or you struggle to find photos. Um, but that is what I did. Those are the five things that I did. And I really, truly had 391 followers on August 31st of this year. And today I have over 4,000 followers. It's absolutely insane. So make sure that you've got all of those things in place. Um, okay, so let's go on next. I'll check if there's any questions. I don't see any questions from you guys, so it must be good. Okay. So here's an action step for you. Make a commitment to post to your feed at least once daily. This is what I did and seriously, it really helps, but it has to be quality photos as we covered before. It can't be just any old snapshot. It's gotta inspire your viewers. That's why people follow you on Instagram because you inspire them. And that's another thing a lot of people say that they're very disheartened because people are unfollowing them. And Instagram, you really can't take you know, to heart. You can't feel like um, that's, you know, you're doing something terrible or they hate you. Please don't be offended by that. But it's uh, something to just observe and to see if you're not attracting the followers that you really want to be attracting or if people are unfollowing you, you might have an issue with what you're posting and you're not offering enough inspiration. So just take that and observe that because it's really valuable feedback. And a second action step for you is to gather a photo library of images that you have on backup so that you have photos to choose from every single day. Because the worst thing in the world is knowing that, oh my gosh, I have to post a photo today, but I don't have anything to post. What am I going to talk about? And it ends up sinking so much time when you're scrambling around trying to figure out what you're going to post today. Not only does it do that, but it also can jeopardize the quality of what you post. Because how many times have you been in a scramble thinking, oh, I've got to at least get something posted. And then you just settle on an image or you take a snapshot really quick because you feel the pressure, like you just have to get it done. And then you're not focusing on the quality of your images. So it might take time if you're searching for images to go surfing through the internet, but find and gather a nice folder full of images that you can just jump into, tap into it and post whenever you need it. And of course, Wellness Stock Shop is there. There's, We're going to go over that later. If it's something that interests you or you're curious about, there are 2,000 photos already prepared for you and ready to tap into. So it really can be an amazing resource for you. So here's an overview. This is what we want to remember um, from today, what you've learned today. Social media is a powerful tool to grow your brand awareness and attract new clients. It's a tool. It's not just about posting pretty pictures and hoping that people are going like to like your pictures. It's not about that. It's actually about attracting the right kinds of clients and turning them into paying clients. So it's a tool to get people. And we saw the statistics earlier. It is the second best tool to use for customer retention, grabbing people, drawing them in, funneling them to your sales page or wherever you want them to go. But it's only a powerful tool if you use it well. Um, so really, again, you want people to follow you so that they begin to build a relationship with your brand and you need to gain their trust because eventually you'd love them to become 
paying clients, right? Okay, so your goals for social media, get people to follow you, build trust and credibility, get them to click, click back to your site or opt-in page. And in order to achieve this, you really need to develop a clear, cohesive brand message. We don't want to be sending mixed messages through our imagery. We've got to really tell people right off the bat what we're about and let them decide if they have a connection to you, if they're on the same page, if they're a part of your tribe. We want to build trust and credibility. We want to post regularly one to three times a day. That's what the experts say. And post quality, luring visuals. Because again, it's all about inspiring people. That is why people follow you. So I want to talk to you about this because building a strong social media feed and pulling all of these elements together can seem really overwhelming. And even like a part-time or a full-time job, it really does take a lot of work and time and dedication and accessing, uh, accessing beautiful professional imagery that has the ability to truly attract the right clients because that's really how you're luring people in on social media is through your imagery first. Imagery that can really build trust for you can really be a huge investment. I'm sure many of you have actually searched already for beautiful photos, and you've told me earlier that it's one of your biggest struggles. It's one of your biggest headaches. So if you are having that trouble, definitely stick with me. I want to know, what are your biggest struggles when searching for photos to represent your business and post on social media. Go ahead and put it in the chat box. I want to hear from you. What are you struggling with the most? And I've heard from some of you earlier and some of you um, chimed in a little bit late and missed this part. I really want to know what are your biggest struggles? Is it finding photos that you can relate to? Is it a huge time sink because you have to search the web and maybe you're not sure what you're allowed to use? Maybe royalty-free, that term is a little bit confusing um, and you're not sure how you're allowed to use the images or maybe it's the money cost and I'm seeing that a lot. Photography is really, really expensive. So I want to help you with all of that. De um, Jess says, developing a cohesive brand, I feel like I need to use my own photos and taking them takes so much time. <laughs> yes. It takes so much time. In fact, it can take sometimes an hour to create a beautiful photo. And it's especially because it has to be quality, right? It has to be a quality photo that you're going to post. And it takes time to gather the material. Imagine what you're going to be um, photographing, gather props, make sure it's timed for the best lighting, and then editing it and everything. It's, yeah, that's seriously, Jess, that's like, a part-time job on your own. <laughs> it's taking that on aside from all the other tasks in your business. Okay, so some of these are the common things that I see are the biggest struggles. Stock photos are stale and lifeless. Yes, typical stock photos definitely are. Searching for decent photos is a huge time sink. It's hard to find imagery specific to wellness. Maybe you found that. There are some really great stock photo sites out there and you should look into them. One, my favorite is unsplashed, you can find gorgeous imagery to use on there. But unfortunately, it's not specific to wellness. And so a lot of people are having troubles with that. They'll go through the thousands of photos that are on unsplashed, but it takes so much time to sift through them to find any images that pertain to what you're talking about. And it's not specific to wellness. So if you need essential oils photos or food photos or something specific to energy or exercise, you can't necessarily find it. But that is a really great stock photo source too. check out unsplashed. Number four, photography is so expensive. And I know this, it's an expensive industry to be in. I, yes, it's very expensive. So one to three posts per day is a lot of photos. So if you are posting two times to social media, um, two times a day and five days a week only, so that's kind of down the middle, you still need 10 images per week. 
10 images a week times 52 weeks in a year is 520 images a year. So remember how I told you that it's, I gave you that action step to start gathering photos so that you can just tap into that anytime you need to make a post, you're going to need to at least collect 520 photos. So really take that seriously because it's going to help you out. So this may be something that you are running across, which is the cost um, of photography. And if it is, please stick with me because I have really an amazing deal for you on Wellness Stock Shop. So I'm going to get to that. Um, but this is a really popular stock photo site. It's the most popular site that I'm hearing people are using. And to get 50 images a month, that's their best deal, their best plan, you have to invest almost $200 every single month to get that 50 images a month. That adds up to $2,388 a year for 600 photos. So that's going to cover at least what you need for social media, but you're going to be investing over $2,000 in that. So I understand your pain. Photography is expensive, especially if you're going to make sure put the investment into it to make sure that your posts are quality and follow worthy. This is what it takes to build a follow worthy social media feed. So this is where I actually want to transition and talk about what an amazing resource that you have access to right at your fingertips. And I want to bring this resource to your attention today because it's an extremely powerful tool to strengthen your brand on social media and can truly save you a ton of time and money. And it will make posting and building a cohesive feed an absolute breeze. So if you haven't already visited Wellness Stock Shop, you really, really should today. Wellness Stock Shop is an accessible photo source and it's the first ever stock photo site to my knowledge that's designed exclusively for wellness entrepreneurs. I really wanted to create a resource to answer all the needs of small business owners in the natural wellness industry. And I am a small business owner too. I'm a solopreneur, I do this all on my own, so I totally understand your needs. So with this, you will really no longer have to struggle with settling on photos that jeopardize the message of your business because all the imagery in Wellness Stock Shop is warm, soulful, and relays the wholesome message that you want your viewers to experience. And you saw that in my social media feed. You won't have to sink time surfing from site to site, searching for that one right image every time you go to make a post because you'll have all the imagery you need thousands of photos right here in one spot. And you'll never be stuck staring at your screen because you just don't know what to post because there's so many different themes that will really give you inspiration. And here are just a few of the theme galleries that I have, and there are so many more. So it's not just about food. It's not, I don't just cater to health coaches. I really take a holistic wellness approach. And I get that from a lot of people that they seem to find that a lot of people think that wellness is only about food. And I understand that it's about so much more. So you'll find essential oils, active life, um, exercise, entrepreneur photos, healthy entrepreneur photos, yoga food and nutrition. I even this month month added an organic skincare um, gallery that is absolutely beautiful. And that was upon popular request from my members. I always am listening to my members. And you won't have to worry about sinking thousands of dollars per year into your imagery because our unlimited membership gives you full access to all the imagery at one low annual price. Okay, so maybe you've already heard about Wellness Stock Shop and you might be here because you're curious about it. And I, um, you might actually already be a member. And if you are, I really want to encourage you to jump in and start using the photos as much as possible because you've seen what it's done for me and my, um, my social media feed on Instagram. It's been so amazing. It's created such a strong feed. Um, and I'm going to have some Q&A at the end, too. So if you have some questions, I want to go, go ahead and answer those. 
Um, and I also want you to know that right now you can save $200 on the annual membership with the early bird pricing, but that's ending today actually at midnight. So this is a really super awesome opportunity for you to get in at a super duper low price. And I'm going to tell you how you can do that in just a bit. But first I want to tell you about the amazing benefits of a membership and it looks like PowerPoint is crashing on me once again. So I'm going to have to restart it. Oh my gosh. Sorry. It's so totally um, tradition. Let's see if I can get this to go. Oh, it looks like it just went. Okay. Yay. Okay. It started again. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay. So in a glance, what you get with a wellness stock shop membership Really, truly, I wanted to create this to answer all your needs and to make it the most amazing membership possible. So you get unlimited downloads. So like we looked at that pos that um, popular stock photo site, you pay $200 a month and you get access to 50 images. That's not true with Wellness Stock Shop. You get 50, 100, you can download all 2,000 images in one month if you want to. It's unlimited <laughs> downloads. Like I said, you get access to 2,000, more than 2,000. It's growing all the time. Professional, handcrafted um, images that are all made by me, so they all have a cohesive look. Imagery whenever you need it. It's all on demand. You just jump in and download imagery whenever you need. It's non-hassle. Um, instant access. It's literally waiting for you to jump in right now today. So if you sign up with a membership today, you get instant access and you can start downloading to your heart's content. Pre-sized files. This is totally for convenience. So I've seen some um, stock photo sites that only offer mega sized files that totally bog down your computer and then you have to hassle with resizing. Ours are already, are already sized for you for convenience, small, medium, and large and large are actually great for printed. Um, if you need any printed marketing material, you have access to anything size from social media to eight by 10 print. New imagery is added every single month and I base this on your requests. I have literally a list of every single request people have made all my members and I go through and I check off the list. Um, royalty free imagery. You do not have to worry about giving any sort of photo credit or hassling with that. Finally, that headache is gone. I love to be hashtagged or tagged in your images just to see how you're using it. I love to support my members, but that is not a requirement. Alteration rights. So some stock photo sites don't allow you to alter their photos or they have really strict restrictions on that. And that is not true with Wellness Stock Shop. I want you to use these photos and do whatever you need to in order support to support your brand and your business. So if you need to crop it, put text overlay, put color overlay, put a border, it doesn't matter. You can do it. Don't even worry about that. And you get flexible usage rights for all your common daily business needs. So you might have experienced on a lot of other stock photo sites that you have to buy usage rights for or upgrade usage rights for specific things. So maybe you can only use it online or you can only use it in print. And that's not true um, with Wellness Stock Shop. You really have really super usage, flexible usage rights to cover all your daily business needs. No worries about that. So you will find professionally handcrafted, edited, pre-sized, and ready to use and ready to post images in Wellness Stock Shop. Here is a visual of what you will find as a member. So all of these images are, like I said, made by me. I handcraft everything and I really use the best <laughs> quality ingredients, even with my food. I get all organic and I'm all about sustainability. So you will never find plastic cups or anything like that. It's always beautiful imagery and it's not all imagery that's made by different photographers using different techniques and different finishes. Since all of this imagery is made by me with my techniques and my finish, it all is cohesive and it looks beautiful together. So that leads to powerful, cohesive imagery to set your branding visuals on autopilot. So it's not like the website we looked together earlier that looked kind of pieced together because she was pulling imagery from different stock photo sites and different photographers. 
All this imagery looks so beautiful together. Imagery with the power to lure your dream clients. And as we talked about the importance of posting luring imagery to really um, gain followers, attract followers, that's so important for social media. And you've seen how it's worked for me already on my social media account. It's the same imagery that you have access to so you can already step up your look on social media. Diverse themes accompanying holistic wellness. This is what I talked about earlier. It's not just about food. You'll find organic skincare. You'll find exercise, essential oils. You'll find energy, all sorts of stuff, emotions. And I'm collaborating with wellness professionals and creating new imagery all the time based on feedback. So most recently, I added this new um, meditation line to the stock shop because I heard from a member that it was really, really hard to find meditation images that were not in the yoga mudra pose with the pointer finger and thumb touching because a lot of meditation is just hands resting on knees. So we went through and created a whole new line of meditation photos because I really want to make sure that you're getting the imagery that you need. So here's what you'll create with a wellness stock shop membership, a strong, warm, luring, cohesive look and brand story for your social media feed and all of your branding and marketing, a beautiful, cohesive social media feed, including posts and headers and ads. You'll find all the imagery you need for all of that. A gorgeous website, blog, ebooks even you can create with these and newsletters. There's no limit to that. You can use these for all of that. Business cards, gift cards, greeting cards, flyers. Again, I told you that the large sized um, stock photos, which you have access to with your membership, um, are really great for print. They're going to be the top quality printed up to 8x10. So you can use these for your printed marketing material. You'll develop an overall streamlined look across all your marketing and time to focus on what you're good at. That is why I created this. I created this by doing what I'm good at so you can focus more time on what you're good at. So how much is a wellness stock shop membership worth? Remember, you get access to over 2,000 photos. So typical stock photo sites, you'll find a typical price is $10 per stock photo, and we have a la carte options as well. So our small sized um, stock photos, which is pretty typical, start at $10. If you need 520 images a year, which is what we talked about for social media, that's $5,200 if you're buying a la carte. If you manage to find photos at $1 per stock photo, which could be possible, but really a big time sink. You're looking at $520 for an annual um, usage for stock or for your social media feed. Um, you could also commission a branding shoot. Branding shoots um, typically cost $1,000 to start. You can do that with me too, but you typically get 100 photos or so. And obviously hiring a part-time staff photographer is probably out of the question. Uh, for wellness stock shop, as I mentioned, you can order a la carte. And with a membership, you get access to small, medium, and large photos. So the small photos a la carte are $10. The large photos are $35 each. So if you were to buy all 2,000 plus photos at $35 each, that would be $70,000. But do not worry. Obviously, I'm I'm here to make this affordable for you. So this is not going to be $70,000. So our annual memberships to access 2000 plus photos are only $590 regularly. But like I said, today, you can save $200 with the early bird membership. And it's ending tonight at 1159. So you're not even going to be paying $590. Um, like I said, you can access a la carte as well. That's a second option. But right now you can get access for just $390 for an entire year. So that's an annual membership. That means you get unlimited downloads of the entire library. There's no limits on what you can download or how many images you can download for $390 for a full year. Literally, this ends up being pennies for each photo. 
So here is the link. If you're interested, you want to learn more or you want to join, it's wellnessdocshop.com slash join. And as a membership bonus, your price is locked in for life. So that means that today you can get in at $390 for an entire year. Next year, if you want to renew your membership, you'll get your same price of $390, whereas everyone else is getting in at $590 or possibly more, you're still getting the same low price. Your price is grandfathered in. So here's how to know if a membership could be right for you. If you're spending too much time scouring the internet for relatable photos to represent your business, if your images are inconsistent and you're not attracting the right types of followers or clients, if taking your own photos is too much time investment and you're not getting the professional looking results you want, if visuals aren't your strong suit and your brand is suffering, if taking on every single aspect of your business is causing overwhelm and you need more balance in your life. I have been through that. It is so, it can really be overwhelming and this will really free up a lot of your time. If setting your visuals on autopilot to create a gorgeous, cohesive, luring brand sounds like a dream come true, stop spreading yourself thin, focus on what you're good at. A membership will be so perfect for you and it'll really help you to free up a lot of your time. It'll take a lot of hassle off and it will allow you to focus more time in your life with your friends and your family and focus more on your business and what you're good at. So again, it's wellnessstockshop.com slash join. And I just want to show you what you can expect when you go to this page. So this is what the page is going to look like. You can watch the wonderful video if you'd like and take a tour. But if you scroll down, you will see the get access link. And when you click on the get access link, you'll be asked to create a free account. And after you create your account, you'll be able to log in. So once you log in, you'll see that you have an unpaid bill and you can just click on the um, the view bill right here, the little yellow button, and you'll be led through the payment process. It's all through PayPal and that's it. And once you pay for your membership, you just log out and log back into your account. Make sure you do that because it'll update your status and it'll refresh your account and you'll have instant access and you'll be able to get in and access unlimited downloads. Just download your heart's content. You can start this right now today. So <clears throat> once again, you can sign up at wellnessstockshop.com slash join. And I promised you a free gift of social media photos to start you out beautifying your feed and attracting new followers. So here is the link where you can download your free gift. And I want to open up to questions because I know some of you do have questions. So you can actually go ahead and type any questions that you have over in the chat box. Um, Jess asked, are there shorter, shorter term memberships? And yes, there are. So this is absolutely the best value, especially if you get in today at the early bird price, which is $3.90 for the entire year. Um, but you can also do a quarterly membership, which is $120. So if you go to wellnessstockshop.com and go to the link that says view memberships, you'll be able to see the different membership options. There's only two and the um, quarterly membership is going to be disappearing today as well. So um, again, starting tomorrow, um, it's going to, the price for the annual membership is going to be 590 and the, um, the quarterly membership is no longer going to be available, but right now you can still get it. So it's the quarterly membership for 120. Um, also I've had a few questions already sent to me that I want to go ahead and, um, go over those. So the one says, if I sign up at the 390 price and I want to renew my membership next year, will I get the same rate? And we did actually go over that. So like I said, if you actually join at the at the uh, early bird price of 390, you are grandfathered in at that price. So as long as you remain an active member, you'll still be able to get that renewal price of 
390, which is so amazing. So starting tomorrow, it's going to be 590 and it's just going to go up from there. Um, do I have access to all the photos in the photo store with my membership or just certain ones? <clears throat> okay. So that's a really good question because in, um, the photo, the, the popular stock site that I showed you earlier, there were different options and one limited you to a certain, um, I don't know if it was a gallery or a certain level of photos. So if you wanted to get that access to all the photos, it would be a different price. And that's not true with Wellness Stock Shop. With this membership, it is truly the most generous membership that I will ever offer. And it might not always be available. Things are going to be changing after this. But right now, you have access to all the photos in the Wellness Stock Shop. So there's over 2,000 and you have access to all 2,000 plus. Um, let's see, will the photos have watermarks on them and will I need to give some sort of special photo credit when I use the images? Okay. So note the water, the images, when you buy them all a cart or download them through your membership, do not have watermarks on them. The watermarks you see when you go to, um, the photo store are there just to prevent people from downloading them illegally or screenshotting them. But once you download them um, through a la carte or your membership, they will not have the watermark on them. They'll be completely blank for you to use and do with what you need. And you don't have to give any sort of photo credit. Like I said earlier, these are royalty free images. So you don't have to put an active link to my site or mention me at all. Although I love it when you tag me because I love seeing what you're up to. Um, I'm a health coach and I design programs to email or print out for my clients. Can I use your images in my programs? Absolutely. Yes, you can definitely use um, these images in your programs. That's what that's exactly what they're here for. And like I said, with the membership, you have access to the large size files, which are printable for most clarity up to eight by 10, and that'll work perfectly for your programs. The only thing you can't do with these images, you cannot resell them and you can't use them on products for resale. So if you're making cards or t-shirts, then you cannot um, print these without getting um, an extended usage, right? So if you've gotten an extended usage, right, then you could do that. But for your programs, absolutely, you can use that. Um, Jess asks, uh, the quarterly membership, would that lock in at the 120 for three months? Yes. Yep. That locks you in. So, um, so you can cancel that at any time you want, but as long as you remain an active member, you will be able to renew your membership at 120 for every three months. Yes. So if you decide um, one month that you're not at the end of it that you're not going to be a member anymore, then that price will go away and it will never appear again because it's not coming back to wellness stock shop. But as long as you remain an active member at that price, you will receive that price. Does that answer your question, Jess? I hope it does. Okay. Are there any other questions? I'm not seeing any other questions coming through. You're welcome, Jess. I'm not seeing any other questions come through. So again, um, you can go to wellnessstockshop.com slash join. And again, this early bird price, which is truly the most amazing price. I won't be offering this again. It's ending tonight at 11.59 p.m. So you can still get in at $3.90 for the entire year. That's just about a dollar a day and you get unlimited downloads. And this is seriously going to step up your social media all your headaches are going to be gone. You're not going to have to wonder staring at the screen what to post or how to create your, your um, uh, cohesive look for your feed. Truly, it has all the elements to attract and lure clients. I've proven that with my social media feed. Again, you saw that I gained, I went from 391 followers on August 31st to today I have over 4,000 followers. It's insane. So put these to use. This is such an amazing resource and that's why I created it to really truly support you. So I hope that you'll take advantage of it and I hope I'll see you in the wellness stock shop. If you have any other questions, you can always send them to me at hello at wellnessstockshop.com. 
Um, Jess, oh, you just looked at my account. My so, oh yeah, my Instagram account. Yeah, so I'm at four thousand two hundred and seventy two followers now. It's growing constantly, all the time. Seriously, and not only that, but I'm getting really amazing um, responses. I'm getting a lot of interaction from people. So. I use the photos. I'll just look at the store and I'll think about something. It, they, the photos will inspire me to create some sort of a post or to talk about something. So I've, I've told you that I really focus on soulful living. And to me, I really want to spread um, non-toxic living and anything chemical free because I'm very much all about nature and our environment and the health, just natural wellness. And so I'll go in and, um, find something like um, a, a, a meal with an essential oils bottle. And then I'll just talk about how you can use the flavors of essential oils um, when you're cooking and how good that is for you or the spray bottle with the essential oils by it. And I give my favorite recipe to create my favorite toner because I make my own toners with witch hazel and um, frankincense and geranium. And I share the recipes with people and people love it. I get so much interaction and that's really what you want. You really want to interact with your viewers and really establish a relationship with them. And that really makes them trust you. And that's what's going to really get them to click back to your link and your site. And they're going to want to become a paying client of yours. That's how you build trust. And that's how you gain paying clients. And that is the overall goal for you, right? You want to be able to support what you do in your family and support your followers at the same time. So really, I hope that you learned a lot of tips here and really <laughs> packed it full with as much information as I possibly could. But like I said, if you have any more questions, please don't feel shy. Just Send me an email, hello at wellnessstockshop.com. I answer all my emails and I'm so, so happy to hear from you. You are so welcome for all the information. Just thank you so much for all your questions and your participation. And um, I hope to see you in the Wellness Stock Shop. Thanks so much for being here.